Are you ready to explore the universe's secrets and unravel its mysteries? Brace yourself for a thrilling ride as we delve into the depths of space and time. You might have heard about the cosmic microwave background, a groundbreaking discovery that solidified the Big Bang Theory. But what if we told you that there's something even more exciting? Imagine a background signal made not of light, but the ripples of the fabric of space-time itself. In 2023, something extraordinary happened. Astronomers at the NanoGrav Collaboration detected the faint hum of gravitational waves using exotic stars as a galactic-sized detector. The repercussions of the very creation of our universe might have been captured in this hum of gravitational waves. Are you ready to learn about astronomers' ingenious new methods to detect them? Join us as we explore the secrets of gargantuan gravitational waves and unravel the mysteries of the universe. Scientists have successfully transformed exotic stars into a massive detector of gravitational waves spanning the entire galaxy. More than 15 years in the making, it was a momentous occasion, a history-making breakthrough that set the stage for unprecedented discoveries about the universe's origins. Students and faculty from UWM's physics department convened for a thrilling livestream event bearing witness to a groundbreaking announcement that could change everything we know about the cosmos. A team of scientists from the U.S. and Canada, united under the banner of the North American Nanohertz Observatory for Gravitational Waves, or NanoGrav, have unearthed stunning evidence of low-frequency gravitational waves that create a continuous background hum across the vast expanse of space. In the early days of the universe, immediately after the Big Bang, scientists believed the entire cosmos underwent an incredible expansion from submicroscopic to colossal proportions. During this period, low-frequency gravitational waves were emitted by supermassive black hole binaries. These elusive waves interest scientists who hope to learn more about the fascinating events that gave rise to them. Throughout the vast and ever-expanding universe, Galaxy merging occurs frequently and continuously. As a result, the massive black holes within their centers also undergo a merging process. However, this process is not sudden, but gradual and spans millions of years. Even long before the actual collision, these black holes emit a low-frequency humming sound in the form of gravitational waves. As they continue to spiral inward towards each other, the intensity of these waves gradually increases. Finally, when the actual collision occurs, it is a compelling event that generates a short but tremendously forceful burst of gravitational waves that warp space-time as they ripple through the cosmos. Sarah Vigeland, a UWM assistant professor of physics, explained that studying these low-frequency gravitational waves will allow us to examine black holes without seeing them. An ingenious detection strategy can be developed by combining various methods and technologies, resulting in a more effective and reliable approach. Gravitational waves with low frequency have longer wavelengths than the size of our solar system, which means they can oscillate over years or decades. To detect these waves, I've employed a technique that involves using our sector of the Milky Way galaxy as a massive gravitational wave antenna. This technique involves millisecond pulsars, an exotic star scattered throughout the galaxy. Millisecond pulsars emit beams of radio waves while spinning hundreds of times per second. These lighthouse-like radio beams sweep past Earth at regular intervals, and when seen from the Earth, they appear to pulse. By studying the signals from these millisecond pulsars, astronomers can detect the presence of gravitational waves and learn more about the characteristics of these waves. When a gravitational wave passes through the universe, it causes a significant change in the arrival time of pulsars' pulses. Scientists have used radio telescopes to detect these changes and observe timing inconsistencies. Radio telescopes can scan the sky for radio frequencies, and pulsars are individually observed to detect any signal. However, detecting a signal in a single pulsar is exceptionally challenging. The gravitational wave moves relatively slowly taking several months, years, or even decades for a single wave to rise and fall. Despite the difficulty of detecting these signals, scientists continue improving radio telescopes' accuracy and sensitivity to better observe and study gravitational waves. 
According to the members of Nanograv, the signal they are observing appears to increase in intensity as they add more pulsars and gather more data. The frequency at which they conduct their observations reveals a powerful signal, which is believed to be the result of all the pulsars acting in unison, generating a sound known as the gravitational wave background. The members of Nanograv are confident that they have successfully detected the phenomenon. The concept of space-time involves stretching and compressing the universe's fabric. Nanograv has recently released a new dataset that contains an in-depth analysis of 68 millisecond pulsars. These pulsars were observed approximately once a month, with some being observed for over 15 years. The dataset provides strong evidence that space-time is being stretched and compressed over these long timescales, a significant discovery in astrophysics. According to Vigeland, one of the researchers involved in the project, this stretching and compressing is consistent with slowly undulating gravitational waves that are passing through our galaxy. This discovery has led scientists to describe the background as a hum, a phenomenon not previously detected in nanograv data. This groundbreaking discovery is expected to contribute significantly to our understanding of the universe and the behavior of gravitational waves. Back in 2015, a group of brilliant astronomers from around the world, including some from UWM, made a groundbreaking discovery. Using advanced technology called Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observations, or LIGO, they detected high-frequency gravitational waves. Unlike the low-frequency waves that were previously detected, these waves came from the dramatic collision of small black holes and neutron stars, each with masses no greater than our very own Sun. And to their surprise, it all happened on much shorter timescales. According to Vigelin, the data provided by each type of wave complements one another, making this discovery all the more exciting. What new insights can we gain about the Big Bang now that we can measure more gravitational waves? The James Webb Space Telescope has been instrumental in providing valuable insights about the early universe, which is still a subject of great curiosity and interest for the scientific community. The telescope has revealed that the universe was significantly denser than previously thought, implying that more gravity was present everywhere. As we know, gravity can slow down time, so astronomers need to adjust their measurements. This information has led to a better understanding of the early universe and has allowed scientists to refine their models and theories. Additionally, the telescope has provided us with data on the number of black holes formed during this period. By studying the formation of black holes in the early universe, astronomers can gain insights into the processes that govern the formation of galaxies and the universe's evolution. These findings are of immense value to the scientific community and represent a significant step forward in our understanding of the universe. Who first came up with the idea of gravitational waves? Did you know that in 1916, the brilliant physicist Albert Einstein proposed that gravitational waves could be a natural outcome of his general theory of relativity? He believed that massive objects could distort the fabric of time and space, causing ripples to spread across the universe like waves in a pond. It's like a cosmic dance, as massive objects spiral toward each other, creating incredible distortions in space-time. This mind-bending concept helps us better understand the nature of gravity and how it shapes our universe. How could Einstein predict gravitational waves over 100 years before scientists could measure them? In 1915, when Albert Einstein presented his general theory of relativity, he proposed that mass could bend space-time, and the greater the mass, the more the space-time would be bent. The first instance of the general theory of relativity being confirmed was in 1919 during a solar eclipse. British astronomer Sir Arthur Eddington traveled to India to observe stars close to the Sun during the eclipse. The observations showed that the stars were not positioned where they would have been seen if they were viewed at night. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, occurs because light travels through space following the shortest path. This shortest path is altered when space is bent, and the light must travel a longer distance. Since space is curved in the presence of nearby matter, distant objects send out gravitational waves. This discovery has been instrumental in furthering our understanding of the universe and its workings. In conclusion, 
The discovery of low-frequency gravitational waves by the nanograv is a groundbreaking achievement that has opened new doors for astronomers to study the universe's most elusive phenomena. The team's ingenious approach of using exotic stars as a massive detector of gravitational waves spanning the entire galaxy is a testament to human ingenuity and technological advancement. With this discovery, we are one step closer to unlocking the secrets of the universe's origins and understanding the most fundamental aspects of our reality. The future of gravitational wave astronomy is bright, and we can only hope to witness more discoveries of this magnitude in the years to come. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure to share your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thrilling space updates. See you next time!